Today I'm doing a Marks and Spencer shopping haul but I did do this back in March at the beginning of the pandemic but I didn't um, edit this video and a lot of the items that I bought were for a collaboration that I did with Crystal Evans a what's for dinner video so I thought what I would do is show you the meals that I made and um, and then go through the items that I bought so here's a chickpea curry that I made that was vegan there's also a coconut cream dark chocolate mousse, which was really, really delicious. And then Ryan made chicken burgers. And um, after that, we had a sockeye salmon dish with pasta and different vegetables. And then we had a Mediterranean beef dish with couscous and you'll see this pot that I used shortly so I'm gonna play the video I'm not gonna do a voiceover on the next bit I'm just gonna leave what I said in the original video so I really hope that you like this haul I will leave the what's for dinner um, collab video down below and if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up so I went shopping in Marks and Spencers today. I don't always go in there, usually it's Tesco's, but we're limited with where we can shop on this island. There's a Tesco's, Marks and Spencers and Shoprite, um, and that's it. So I went to Poundland as well and got some bits and bobs. So all of this cost £100 and we are a family of five. I'd say that's probably about hundred and is it thirty dollars or something like that. So if you didn't know, I try and eat predominantly plant-based, but I do have meat or fish occasionally, but the rest of the family, they do eat meat and we don't really have a lot of dairy, although my husband has bought some dairy today, I think. So I'm gonna go through everything. I got a big massive like thing of toilet roll here, not because I'm stocking up because of the coronavirus, but because um, we ran out and the kids just seem to use so much of it. So I've got how many have I got here? So I've got these from the pound shop and you get 24 rolls for £5. So I'd say that's probably about $7. Ryan is going to be cooking here. I'm doing um, a What's For Dinner collaboration with Crystal Evans. I absolutely love her. She's amazing. So one of the days, Ryan's going to be cooking tonight actually. So he's making me and Neva these chicken breast fillets and he's going to spice them up. And then him and Caleb are going to have these chicken legs and baby Micah will probably share these as well. So, because of like obviously with the coronavirus and we don't know what's going on, I've been buying little bits extra every week. Elizabeth Lucy, I'll link her channel down below. She's an epidemiologist and she's been giving tips on what to do. Um, so, I've got a couple of tins of soup here. I do make soup, like I've got, it doesn't look very nice, but I've got a pea soup that I've made there. But I just thought I'd get a couple of tins in. So, I've got this cream of chicken soup for the kids. This is for me, a uh, vegetable bean one. And then I've got bread. These bagels was reduced to 56p on the sourdough one, so I've got two packs of them. We've got some of these 14p for four. So Ryan, I think he's gonna put them on these buns. I've got fine green beans, love them. Some bananas. I've got three red peppers, I think. Extra virgin olive oil. And then I've got these here, we don't drink alcohol, but these are for cooking. So we've got a red wine and a white one. I think there it is. And then I've got some dark soy sauce because I want to make some fried rice and I want to cook some tofu in that. I've got sesame oil, again for fried rice and for the tofu. I got these, they were £1.20 at the pound shop. And my mum said they're really good because there's a lot of condensation in this house. I got sockeye salmon because it's really rich in nutrients and especially omega-3 so you don't get a lot in this it's like 220 grams but I usually fry it up and flake it on pasta or potatoes or I'll show you what I do with it on my what's for dinner I've got some kitchen rolls here so that was three for 120 I've got dark chocolate here because I'm going to be making some chocolate vegan chocolate mousse um, a recipe that I found online that I will link when I make it. I got vegan mayonnaise and it's made with broad, broad bean pro protein and it is really, really nice. I love it. Then I've got this. It's chicken concentrated chicken stock and it looks really thick like Marmite. 
and it's good for making gravies from scratch. So we've got this mixed spice which Ryan's going to use for the chicken. Basmati rice. This was £1.20, this pink rock salt. Um, 50p from the pound shop, washing up liquid. We've got carrots. They were only 40p for 500 grams. We've got these little free pots for growing vegetables. If you didn't know, we've just moved to the countryside in a little cottage and we're going to be growing some fruits and vegetables, so these will come in handy. And then we've got some spaghetti at the back and then I've got some vegan sunflower spread which I put on toast and I bake with. The coconut cream for the um, puddings. Again, the damp ball things. White onions, potatoes for roast potatoes and for chips or fries that you call them in America. The peppers, we've got oat milk, I love that. And then we've got apple cider vinegar raw one. It contains the mother. Ryan was wondering what was all the bits in it and it's because it's alive, isn't it? So I love that. And Ryan has it in the morning with hot lemon and water. And then we've got frozen spinach, which I like to put in bolognese and stews and for breakfast. Um, avocados. This velvet hummus is so nice. It's really, really smooth. Like I said, Ryan got this butter for him. And then we've got tomato puree for making homemade pizzas and for spaghetti bolognese. Lettuce. And then I've got these four chunky cod fillets. We like to have fish and chips every now and again. I think I've got a video of that and I'll link it down below. And then I've got this for making a spaghetti bolognese or Ryan might be making a curried mince um, with fat cooks. If you don't know what they are, I'll link a video down below. And then I've got this diced beef. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do with that is I've got this pot here. Um, and it's a Mediterranean paste. So I'm going to use this. And maybe serve it with rice or couscous. I'm not sure yet. So, yeah, all, like I said, all of this came to £100. We do have loads of porridge because we stocked up on that. Um, down here, can you see it all? And then I've got some flowers and things like that that we've stocked up on as well. Um, so we've just been buying little bits, a little bit extra every week just to put away in case you know we need to self-isolate or anything like that so here is all my shop i hope you liked this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here i would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching and we'll see you next time